Wilfredo Baje hails from Ilaya, Dapitan City. His inclination to agriculture is influenced by his father, who was the city agriculturist in the 70s. Fondly called Nonoy by his family and friends, he completed BS Electrical Engineering in Cebu City. That time, to be an engineer was one of the successes for him and also for his parents. But after school, he went on to be an ardent worker for livestock and fisheries to have his own business and earn his own income. For starters, he managed fish ponds and fish pens since the Pitan had large water areas and his family had the resources. He also tried crab fattening and prawn production, as well as seaweeds or agar-agar. As years progress, Nonoy ventured into livestock racing, such as hogs and cattle, but he had insatiable desire for more. It was in 2008 that he got interested in cocoa palms. Nonoy had planted 200 trees of green dwarf galas variety of coconut in his 2 hectare land in Barangay, Barcelona, Dapitan. Naghanap kami ang sinabi nila na yung may-ari akala ko dati ano eh kasi sabi mag, bali parang ranggo ng sundalo uh, akala ko uh, coronel tapos yung actual na owner pala ng dwarf is corporal no tapos uh, siniguro namin na yung variety na yun hindi rin uh, mag-ano ng bunga na maliliit. No? Kaya pinuntahan namin yung yung origin ng plant ni Mr. Corporal. Nung makita namin na yung, kasi ang ang, ang bali orientation ng iba na pag dwarf, shorter ang life niya. Tapos nung makita namin uh, nagtanong ako kay Mr. Corporal na Yung mother plant niya is 34 year old at the time. Uh, nakita namin na okay yung ano, okay yung variety ng coconut niya. Nag-acquire kami doon sa ano niya, sa farm niya. Earlier, Nonoy seek the assistance of the Philippine Coconut Authority for the initial layout and proper management for his coconut farm. He used the 10 by 10 distance in planting the coconuts and had applied salt as fertilizer to enhance fruiting of coconuts. While Nonoy waited for his trees to bear fruits, he obtained technical assistance from his local agriculturist for the preparation of integrated coconut farm. He planted banana, lanzones, rambutan, durian, avocado, jackfruit, pomelo, and lemon in between rows of his green dwarfs. After almost three years, his coconut tree started to bear nuts, from which the mature nuts he started selling at the local market during Tabo days. In his combined income from coconut seed nut production and other agriculture businesses, he was able to develop his coconut farm into a park and resort. The sprawling coconut trees became the main attraction with rich fruits that heavily hung and almost touched the ground. Such an amazing sight that a coconut tree could also become an ornament. To enhance his knowledge, Nonoy also attended trainings conducted by the Department of Agriculture on integrated pest management and fruit trees pest control. During seasons of pest infestation, Nonoy was able to come up with an innovation of his own for pest control using oil and dishwashing liquid sprayed on the affected areas of the trees. To maintain soil porosity, he uses farm waste as compost materials to provide natural fertilizer for his farm. Nonoy employs seven seasonal workers for the coconut farm while two are regularly employed for the maintenance of the farm and selling of seed nuts. He sells one seed nut at 30 pesos per nut and has estimated more or less 500 nut sales per semester, bringing his total net income 
to 100,120 pesos in 2012. With the development of his Barcelona Spring Farm, more visitors and guests became curious of the green dwarf coconut variety. It has since drawn attention to interested buyers. Nonoy said that the establishment of his resort beside the farm attracted a lot of visitors and became a showcase to them for the existing coconut variety. Nakita ko na sa sa maintenance hindi masyadong maasikaso ang ano ang coconut. Pag ang ginawa namin dati ah uh, pag ginawa naming ano pag plant namin naglagay kami ng siguro 3 to 4 ano uh, yung lalagyan ng oil ng Caltex na ano na itin ng manok initially tapos yun lang uh, okay naman siya nakapag 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 grow naman siya ng healthy na as part of his pledge to also give back to the community, he shared his blessings to fund the construction of the church building in his barangay. He also provided financial support to other related social activities in his community. In 2013, Nonoy's Coconut Farm has earned a total income of 107,560 pesos with 168% return of investment. Today, with this achievement, Nonoy plans to expand more and plant more trees. He said he and his family enjoy the fruits of his labor. His four children and lawyer wife have also become aware and appreciative of how the coconut trees have become their source of success. Gusto ko rin ma-expand siya kasi siguro uh, mga 5 to 10 years pwede pang pwede pang uh, ma-dispose ma natin ng maayos yung ano niya, yung variety na to uh, sa tingin ko uh, kung makikita natin yung ano niya, yung bali ang growth ng ng variety ng coconut na to. Uh, malaking factor din yung naitulong ng ano ng PCA